how to YouTube today. We're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Walmart exclusive superstar entrances, John Cena. A really nice figure. I'm not a massive Cena fan, although um, lately he has been uh, extremely impressive. But this guy, uh, when I saw him, absolutely I had to pick him up. Uh, I just thought it was really cool. I love the uh, the shirt uh, that he's wearing. This time uh, last year, John Cena obviously having this attire around Elimination Chamber, uh, WrestleMania, when he was going into the feud with uh, Bray Wyatt. A really great looking figure. Awesome John Cena face scan from the looks of it in the packaging. Uh, nice shot, obviously, in the top left uh, of John Cena. Very excited to get this guy opened up. And taking a look at the back of the packaging, obviously we see the back of the shirt with the You Can't See Me uh, in the, the cool retro neon uh, sign. Other figures in the set, of course, we've got uh, Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, RVD, John Cena, and then uh, AJ Lee. So pretty strong lineup. This guy's pretty hard to find and was going for a little bit on eBay. Uh, when I was in the States recently, I was lucky enough to pick this guy up uh, for pretty cheap. So um, that was that was really good. But let's get this guy opened up. Okay, and here we have John Cena out of the packaging. And uh, from this particular angle, he looks extremely creepy, um, <laughs> which is good value. I'll bring it forward so you guys can see. Really nice face scan of John Cena. I think they absolutely nailed it there. Um, looking a little bit like Super Cena, if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. Uh, you can see great detail on the shirt. Hustle, loyalty, respect. Pretty solid code. Uh, by all means, John Cena is probably someone I should really like. Unfortunately, um, when he first started and I was watching wrestling, he did the really terrible rapper gimmick, uh, which just really, really annoyed me. Uh, and then, of course, uh, watching it, um, obviously when I was a bit younger, seeing him uh, beat people like Chris Jericho and Kurt Angle, people that I really liked, um, obviously wasn't the best thing for me liking John Cena. And, uh, and Edge, actually. I was a huge Edge fan. And um, they had some fantastic matches. Obviously, some nice detail on the back of the shirt as well. Really good. One of the sad things uh, that I think they could have could have done with uh, John Cena is they could have had a really good storyline throughout the year where, uh, you know, different people were trying to turn him heel. And, you know, he, I guess he subtly hinted to it with, uh, you know, wearing darker trunks and... Uh, he later switched to the black and, and things like that, but he never really did did anything with it. Uh, of course, once he beat Bray Wyatt as well, he pretty much killed uh, all the momentum that he had. Uh, and even now, I don't think Bray Wyatt's actually recovered. Uh, what's interesting about the figure is he's got this interesting knee joint. It's slightly lower than the other figures, but uh, it's almost like a double knee. It feels really weird to, to actually bend. Um, but nice detail, really great, uh, great job. In terms of articulation, he's got uh, obviously ball jointed head, ball jointed arms, your standard Mattel um, basic articulation, swivel at the knee, and then uh, any movement in the. There is, but it's extremely stiff, so some movement in the ankle. So, uh, not too bad, a pretty solid John Cena figure. Just for comparison, I've got John Cena here with the uh, champion set. John Cena, uh, both really nice figures. Uh, if you're a John Cena fan, then either one of these is, is a pretty good pickup. I probably prefer the face on this one. It just looks a little bit more determined, uh, a little bit more aggressive. But uh, I love the shirt detail on this and the, the paint scheme. So if you're a John Cena fan, absolutely, this guy's a, uh, a pretty good find and well worth picking up.